Hello, I'm Greg and today I'll show you how to create uh, tileable images from Blender's procedural textures. So Blender has uh, great 3D procedural textures. They are of course seamless, but the problem is you can't create uh, tileable images from them. So if you would like to use this image as a texture in game where you, for example, tile a floor or a wall next to each other, you will easily see the seams between them. So just by creating a cylinder, unwrapping only the side of it, so this is how it looks like, and let's just bake it. Let me just show you how it ties across x-axis. As you can see there is no seam visible in x, only in y, but that's because uh, you can't really unwrap cylinder into 2D space uh, without uh, significant distortion. We have to think of an object that we can unwrap to, to this space and fill the whole space of the image with UV layout. So we must use another 3D object to bake object coordinates into UV coordinates. There's really no way to do this without uh, distortion. Probably your first bet would be to use a, a sphere and unwrap it somehow, but it's not really possible. There would be significant distortion. So we're going to use torus. Well, we will unwrap this in a way that will create as uh, few distortions as possible and fill the whole UV space with the texture. And let me just show you how uh, the texture looks on this torus. So unwrapping it like this, filling the whole uh, UV space, we can now bake uh, the texture. And as you can see, it's perfectly tileable. So if you ever wanted to use your uh, procedural node-based textures from Blender in your project, then this might be the way. And of course you can use uh, any texture, even your own painted texture. The point is you can create really nice uh, procedural textures with Blender. So let's use a good example like this procedural crux texture from uh, cgmasters.net. Let me just link this uh, material. I will simplify it just to keep the crack pattern, adjust the settings so we can see what we are doing. So as you can see here, uh, it's seamless across all three axes. You can tweak it very easily. And as you can see, it's perfectly tileable.